Hello, everybody! Welcome to the show, all of you watching. Thank you for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. It's very nice of you to watch my show. Today, I'm going to be talking about Ring by Koji Suzuki. Now, I do have about 62 pages left to, to go before I finish Ring. However... I feel confident enough to talk about it at this point. The beginning of this novel follows a teenage girl who's in her apartment, house, whatever, condo. She dies. Then another guy dies. Uh, through the perspective of a taxi cab driver who sees him die. Then we go to a reporter, reporter journalists for the media. He gets in a taxi, specifically the taxi of the guy that saw this dude on a motorcycle fall over, collapse, dead. Tells him about it, gets interested in it, goes to this lodge, finds a cassette, a VHS tape, watches it. It's the video. It's the video we all know about. He's got six or seven days left to live. Six? Seven? I don't know. One of the two. It's a journey. And, and the thing about this book that I would recommend the most, why I would recommend this book, is because it's eerie. It's very weird. It's well written. A scholar wrote this, basically. You know, someone who is well versed in, in language, in linguistics. Um, all I can say is that it's it's very professional but at the same time it's it's these little details that that make the mind wonder what the fuck is going on you know like what well, what's happening here um i won't get into any of the detail on that but basically the further we go along in the story the weirder it gets uh so basically uh Asakawa and his uh, rapist friend Riju uh, trying to figure out how the fuck to find the charm so that they don't die because they both watched it. Asakawa made Riju watch it. Riju is like now in it, part of it. He has to get out himself. Doesn't want to die. Doesn't really know if it's real or not. Doesn't really care, interestingly enough. Um, there's other people in the story that come into play. Uh, at first, I thought, you know, there's no, there's no girl involved that comes out of a well. So I don't know about the well. That hasn't shown up at all close to the last 60 pages. I don't think there's a well as there was in the American movie version of The Ring or Ring. Uh, this was came out in uh, well it doesn't say when it originally came out in 2004-2007 that's not true. Uh, that's when this edition was published. So we don't know about that. Eerie. Very eerie. I don't know what's going on here. Basically, it's, it's like a detective novel in a way. Like you're trying to figure out what needs to happen for them to figure out the charm. What do they need to do in this story to not die? So as a reader, it has my interest very much. I'm invested to figure out like, can they, can they figure this out before? And I don't even remember what happens in, in any of the movies. So I'm as intrigued as ever to find out, do they 
do they find the the charm do they do they evade death do they escape death so I want to know um, it's taken me a while to finish this I'm not as into reading as I have been in the past but I am close to finishing this and I would recommend Ring by Koji Suzuki to all of you readers out there very weird very strange uh, not a whole lot of gore and violence so I don't have to worry about that but um, just weird just a weird story bone chilling very eerie, very odd. Check it out if you want. See you next time.